Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is David here from jailbreaky.com. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iOS 8.3 device on Windows using Taiji 2.0.0. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to need to do first is go ahead and go to the website www.taiji.com slash en slash and go ahead and press the big download, uh, you know, jailbreak tool button uh, as well as the all of this will be in the description. You're going to go ahead and go to this link in the description and download iTunes 12.1.0. Uh, whether it's 64 or 32, my virtual machine that I'm running Windows on is 64-bit. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. Um, but yeah, so all of this will be in the description again. Also, I know this does seem a little bit weird, but uh, you know it, it does check out. This is for the uh, you know for the patches and everything. That is for that. So just go ahead and download that, and that will be in the description as well. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do now is uh, basically just show you guys what to do. So uh, here, this is just to ensure that you don't, uh, you know, in the first version anyway, there's this really bad bug where uh, you can get hung up on 20%. Uh, you know, jailbreaking. So if you already have iTunes installed, you need to make sure all of these, uh, you know, where it says Apple application support, iTunes, Bonjour, all of that, you want to make sure all that is uninstalled from your computer via control panel. You want to make sure all of that is uninstalled and there is no uh, you know, there's there's no indication that iTunes is on there at all. Once you have that, just go ahead and uh, click on the patch and set that up, and then set up iTunes for your computer. Next, we're gonna go ahead and right click, and I don't know why I can't do it. Right click and run as administrator on the Taiji jailbreak tool. We're gonna go ahead and press yes, and next it should go ahead and open up. But first, I want to show you guys. Here is my iPhone. Uh, if I slide to unlock and go into settings, general. And about you guys can see that under version it does say iOS 8.3 so I am on iOS 8.3 with this device so it says can't find Apple device Taiji jailbreak 2.0.0 version supports iOS 8.3 you can use Taiji Pro to upgrade all that stuff so here it says David's iPhone iPhone 5 iOS version 8.3 turn off find my iPhone before jailbreaking um, so that's actually what we're gonna go ahead and do right now so what I'm gonna show you guys is we're going to go into settings and and then once we go ahead and do so, we're going to go into iCloud. And now you can do uh, two, one of two things. You can either one, which it says to do, sign, uh, basically turn off Find My iPhone, or sign off, uh, you know, sign out of iCloud completely. You can do either one of those things. So I do have Find My iPhone turned off. And next we're going to uncheck 3K Assistant, and we're going to press Jailbreak. So there you guys go. It says 2%, 4% data processing, jailbreaking, relating data, start data processing, and it'll go through all. All of this and if you've done it right then it should not hang up at 20% it might take a little while to get past 20% but if you're doing it right it should not reboot and it should go past 20% so you guys could see the first time that I did this it said jailbreak failed so it might do that for you and that's one of the reasons why and I know a lot of times uh, sometimes I get errors and uh, you know well David why don't you just edit it out I wanted to show you guys uh, you know that I did encounter a lot of errors while doing this so it's not something that you're gonna get right away uh, at least in the you know 2.0.0 version the initial version for 8.3 the first you know version that came out to jailbreak 8.3 uh, you know this version is not going to be you're not gonna get you're not gonna be jailbroken the first time that you use it it's gonna take a couple of times to go ahead and successfully jailbreak. No matter how, you know, no matter how you do even if you do it on a stock Windows computer, if you do it on a Windows PC, you know, whatever PC you use, if it's a Windows PC, it doesn't matter that it has Windows on their stock. It doesn't matter if it's a virtual machine. It doesn't matter, period. It's still going to do the same thing. So yeah, so that's all I wanted to say about that. So that's one of the reasons why I kind of kept this in here because I thought it was good to know that. So anyway, you guys can see now it's progressing through and it stopped hanging up on 20%. 40% now and it might hang up a little bit at 40% uh, but yeah so that's why I would definitely consider uh, you know so many times literally that's why I'm getting this out so late to you guys because I actually had something you know that I had to go to earlier in the day but anyway uh, so if it says 60% uh, start to execute jailbreak 80% uh, but yeah so this came completely out of the blue 
Um, it was actually thought that Taiji was not going to look at anything jailbreak related up until iOS 9. So they just completely surprised everyone. And I was even more surprised because this came days after WWJC or Worldwide JailbreakCon or just JailbreakCon, like most people say. So this came only days after JailbreakCon. So that's probably one of the things that surprised me the most about this jailbreak release. This is not really something that we normally see. Um, as well as 8.4 was so close to launching. 8.4 comes out June 30th, so it just seemed like it would be a better release cycle to go with uh, you know, 8.4 if it was launching June 30th. So we're just gonna go ahead and let this progress. So it says 90% executing, and no one had any clue that this was coming out. I wanted to go ahead and highlight that again. It seems like most of the jailbreaks that have been released in recent time, you know, not a lot of people had any clue about whatsoever. Taiji kind of just randomly dropped this, but as you guys can see, 99% restarting device now, and there you go, right to the Apple logo, and it is rebooting our device. So we're gonna go ahead and, and actually, you know, let that go. So now we do not need a computer anymore. We are done with the computer part of the jailbreak, so we can go ahead and unplug our device from the computer and set the computer over to the side because we don't need it anymore. We're gonna go ahead and slide to unlock, and there is Cydia. So there you go. There is Cydia along with the Apple Watch app. Did you ever think you'd see it so soon? Anyway, we're going to go ahead and tap on it. It says preparing file system. Cydia will exit when complete. And it says that for basically all the jailbreaks. So I was super, you know, when I saw that this happened, I was super excited. Uh, you know, basically, I had just woken up out of bed, checked my phone, and I saw, because uh, I had a group chat with... Andy, Justin, and Jarek, and Andy was like, you know, I'm going in for finals, so I understand if you guys don't want to wait for me to, you know, record a podcast or whatever, if you guys want to record a special episode or whatever, I understand if you guys don't want to wait for me. So I was like, what could possibly be going on? So I checked Taiji's website, and sure enough, a jailbreak had dropped. So I was super, you know, I, I ran to my computer, uh, you know, obviously installed Windows immediately because obviously I have a Mac, so I don't have Windows on there by default. Unfortunately, for right now, this is only for Windows, but obviously as soon as it comes out for Mac, as long as, you know, I can, I will be making a tutorial for that as well. Um, so there it is rebooting again. It took a little while. Um, so it's rebooting again. This is just basically downloading all the packages to Cydia and all that kind of stuff. So slide over to unlock and there is Cydia. So we're going to go ahead and tap on that and it says loading. And now, uh, you know, for right now anyway, this is just a reminder that iOS 8.3 does break a lot of stuff in Cydia as, you know, previous releases like iOS 7 and a bunch of that kind of stuff did. So you know, not everything works, but you guys can see it says 8.3, and you know, there are, in the description below, there will be a uh, list of uh, some compatible iOS 8.3 jailbreak tweaks right now. For right now, obviously, you can imagine there aren't that many compatible tweaks because this is a new jailbreak, it just came out. Uh, Sark didn't, you know, update Cydia to be fully optimized for 8.3 yet. He is doing that very soon. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. I was super surprised to see this. What do you guys think about this release? Let me know down in the comment area below. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, follow me on Twitter to get notified about when I upload a new video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Catch you in the next one. This is David, signing out. Peace. <laughs>